Koto, welcome to the third and possibly the final video for our Redox 2.7 series. Um, in this video we're going to look at how to explain whether or not oxidation or reduction has occurred in a reaction. Um, so to do this we need to start off with the um, balanced half equation. So this is the most complex one that you'll come across. So we've got the reduction of dichromate to a chromium ion. Um, so you can see we've got two chromium atoms there within the dichromate ion become the two chromium ions. Uh, everything else has been balanced according to balancing um, half equation rules. Uh, so how do we know that this has been reduced to um, a chromium ion? So there's two ways that we're going to need to be able to explain this, and you can just choose one of them, choose whichever is your favourite. So the first way is that we can talk about the the uh, gain or loss of electrons. So if, if the electrons are written on the left hand side of the equation, it means that they are not part of the, uh, the compound that we're talking about. So the electrons are going to be gained when this dichromate moves from its state to there to where it is over there. Um, I guess we just intuitively need to know that we're going to be talking about the chromium atoms um, that are going to be gaining or losing electrons. Uh, the oxygen the atoms are part of a compound there, so their oxidation number is negative 2. It's negative 2 over there, um, so nothing changes actually with the oxygen atoms. Um, so the chromium atoms, we can say that they, uh, each of them, because are, there are two of them, and there's six electrons, we can say that each chromium atom has gained three electrons to become that chromium ion. So each chromium atom within this dichromate ion has gained three electrons. Um, because gaining electrons is to be reduced, therefore we can say that the, the chromium atom or the dichromate ion, you could say either or, has been reduced in this reaction. So here's an example of how we would uh, write that. Excuse me. We would say that each chromium atom in dichromate ion gains three electrons to form a chromium three plus ion. Gaining electrons means the species has been reduced, so the chromium atoms, or you could say the dichromate ion, has been reduced. Um, so that's one way of doing it, and that's, that's fine just doing it like that. The second way that you can explain it um, is using oxidation numbers. So we would need to find the oxidation number of the chromium um, <coughs> atoms and ions within this formula, within this reaction. So here we can see that we've got seven oxygen atoms and uh, overall the ion has a charge of negative two. So we're going to say that two chromium atoms will need to equal uh, negative 12. So each of these chromium atoms must have an oxidation number of positive six for the ion to um, equal negative two overall. Um, and then we move over to this side because that's just a monoatomic ion. Um, the oxidation number of each chromium ion is plus 3. So we can say here that the oxidation number of the chromium atom within that dichromate ion has been reduced from positive 6 to positive 3. Because the oxidation number has been reduced or has decreased, uh, reduction has occurred. So we would just write that, I'll give you a sample way of, of writing that down here, we would say that each chromium atom in the dichromate ion has an oxidation number of plus 6. The oxidation number of the chromium 3 plus ion is plus 3, therefore the oxidation number of chromium has decreased to form uh, a, I should change that to say, a chromium ion, because it's actually gone from within an ion. Um, that would be, make a bit more sense. Um, because the decrease in oxidation number equals reduction, or is reduction, um, chromium has been reduced, or you could say dichromate has been reduced. So with every equation that you do, um, you'll need to explain how you know that either oxidation or reduction has occurred. Um, so those, are, if you can explain that how I've done there, then that will give you a chance to get excellence. Um, if you're able to just say dichromate has been uh, has gained electrons, so is is reduced, then that would be fine for um, an achieved or a merit, for example. So the closer you can get to a full answer, talking about either the gain of electrons or the change in oxidation numbers, um, the, the more likely you are to get excellence. Thanks very much for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more chemistry videos. See you next time.